Hey now, I'm Steve Sievers from Bonic Buzz. Welcome to backstage here at Ventura Vans Warp Tour. Let's go see who we can talk to. Sadly, this is the last tour in Vans Warp Tour, so we're asking everyone what's your favorite memory of Warp Tour in the past, you know? Mm, all right, well, mine was uh, two years ago when mm -hmm. we uh, played our first Warp Tour, and that was just awesome. Yeah. That was, that's all I got. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> Uh, my favorite warped memory was back in high school watching Scary Kids Scaring Kids with some of my best friends. Oh hell yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, mine was probably 2016 when we played it for the first time. It was it was a dream come true. Mm -hmm. I was actually never able to attend when I was a kid because I got in trouble a lot and, and I was always grounded. <laughs> and now you're uh, on tour. So I, now I'm on the tour. So take that, mom. Yeah. <laughs> mine was uh, also in high school, seeing Chiodos play, and they had someone with a big gorilla suit oh, or at least God. a head came out and announced them beforehand. But like he took about a good three minutes talking about his gorilla dick before <laughs> he called out the band and it was crazy. Well, here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passions. I love asking musicians this question. Where'd your passion for music come from? Was it a certain album you listened to? Did you get into it? Or a certain performance that inspired you to start a band? Let's start that. Uh, my favorite thing about music is the ability to kind of experiment with the combinations of sounds and tones to try and inspire emotions in yeah. other people and listeners. Was well, it a certain album that inspired you to get into it or just oh, kind of born with it? Uh, every album my parents ever owned. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to everything. Yeah. Well, my, my brother was my big influence. He yeah. got me into music, introduced me to bands like Nirvana. And yeah, me too. All the, all the, <laughs> yeah, all the grunge movements. So yeah. that was my, my starting point. Yeah, yeah, that's what I started. Uh, actually, my, my grandpa owned a bunch of guitars. And when I was really little, I would just open them up and just kind of mess around. I didn't know what I was doing, but something about it really intrigued me. And I think that's what like sparked the passion for Very music cool. in me. Yeah. Uh, mine was my brother, my dad, and my uncle kind of all encouraged me to start playing. They were in bands themselves, uh, and they got me a drum set when I was like five years old, oh. and they let me wail away on it, which blessed them yeah, and their ears. <laughs> exactly, but they actually encouraged it, which is very cool. So very nice. my parents were a huge part of that. Cool. So, uh, what can fans expect the rest of the year for you guys? You know? Yeah. Well, uh, September 28th, we're uh, releasing our new album, Mental Knife, uh, mm -hmm. from Equal Vision Records. Nice. Uh, we got a few uh, singles, hopefully coming out in the next couple months. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, and then uh, hopefully more touring. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And where can fans stay up to date, website, social media wise? Uh, Instagram at Hail the Sun, Twitter Hail the Sun, Facebook Hail the Sun. Um, yeah. I think Spotify, all that's HailTheSun.com. Anything else? Anywhere. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah, we'll see you out on the stage. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Yeah. Appreciate it.